Hey everyone, this is Bridget Reyes and I'm back with another stylish tip for you. And uh, this week we're going to talk about pantyhose and tights, a favorite topic for many. Every time I speak, I get asked this question, should I or shouldn't I wear pantyhose? So I'm going to clear up every, hopefully every question that you might have about wearing tights and stockings and pantyhose and should we wear them and should we not wear them and do we do them with open toed shoes and do we not and what color should I wear and blah, blah, blah. There's so many questions out there. So where, where do you stand on, uh, on uh, tights, Kathleen? I wear tights when it's cold. Okay. What, what about <laughs> pantyhose? Pantyhose, I wear them in the winter. Mm -hmm. I do when I'm wearing a dress, but generally, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of pantyhose either. Um, do you wear them with open-toed shoes? No way. No way. Okay, so let's just start with pantyhose. Do you or don't you wear pantyhose? My answer to that is do whatever you want. They're your legs, okay? So if you want to wear pantyhose or stock, I hate the word pantyhose, pantyhose, but if you want to wear pantyhose or stockings, by all means, wear them. Um, I, I actually believe that when pantyhose went out of style, um, Kathleen's way too young to remember this, but there was a movie called Disclosure. It was based on a book, I believe, by Michael Crichton, and Demi Moore played the executive um, the boss and she was known as like wearing skirt suits and pumps and no pantyhose and I think that was when it was like a big thing like oh, she doesn't wear pantyhose and that was like over 20 years ago so you know this debate rages on and then Kate Middleton was seen wearing pantyhose and then they kind of made a comeback but it's always been this this hot debate and I mean I don't know I mean do you do you agree Kathleen if you like pantyhose you want to wear pantyhose wear pantyhose right yeah why not I mean like whatever right there's no right or wrong answer to that um uh, so wear them if you want to wear them. Don't, don't wear them if you don't want to wear them. Getting a little bit more specific, um, I think Kathleen and I both agree. Open-toed shoes and pantyhose. Boo. No. Boo. Not unless you want to look like a ballroom dancer. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the first thing I think of. There are, um, some, uh, there are some stockings out there that have, have you ever seen them with the toes open mm -hmm. where you put the, what do you think of those? weird <laughs> <laughs> I mean if it works sure but I'm sure you can tell it's it's gonna be weird my, you know my mom actually wore them at my wedding and they didn't look bad because I think the I think the, the pantyhose or the stockings themselves need to be light enough so it doesn't look like you have these like right. little white toes or toes that don't match the color of your legs so it wasn't bad but her problem was she had these really uncomfortable shoes on so she had to take them off and my mother's a bit of a dancer and the poor woman was like walking around with these pantyhose that looked like flip-flops where like the toes were exposed and there was like a part going between her middle toes and I'm like oh my god couldn't we have gotten her some flats so they're a little tragic and one time I saw a woman in an airport with the toeless stockings on with flip-flops no not mm -mm. good so Maybe if you have a little bit of a peep or something, you could do those types of stockings. But you have to be careful. You have to be careful with those. Okay. Um, what about tights and open-toed? Like, kind of hipster. Like, opaque tights and, like, wedge sandals from the summer. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, hipster, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But I can see everyone in Williamsburg doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a certain type of style, right? And it's probably something better for if you're young or if it works yeah. with your outfit or something right. like that. I also think it's important to make sure that you're wearing like what's called, uh, what, what is that called? Um, it's like sandal or, or there's no seam. Right. So make sure there's no seam or toe or anything if you're going to do an open toe shoe, you know, sandal with a pair of opaque tights because that would just look ridiculous, you know, <laughs> for sure. You don't want to have like a, a seam or anything like that. Um, all right. We, we have to address white stockings. Mm -hmm. Should a woman over the age of, or should any female over the age of five own white stockings? No. No. No, there's no reason. I, I mean, unless you're dressing up as Alice from Alice in Wonderland for Halloween. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no reason you should ever own them. I mean, personally, I don't even think you should own them on your wedding day, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sure some people would disagree with that one. But, you know, really, there's no reason. So no to that. You don't need them. Forget it. Oh, what about black stockings and colored shoes oh my god i'm guilty i have a picture of that but i was only a toddler 
So. You were Tom. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't like last week? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I think about is Minnie Mouse. So if you're <laughs> doing colored heels... Either do bare legs or do a nude pantyhose that matches your skin tone. Do not do black tights or stockings. <laughs> Unless you're auditioning as many for, for Disney World. Okay. Let's get into pattern stockings and tights. So how do so I think they can work. What do you think? I, I do too. I mean, but it has to work or else it just looks bad. Okay, so how how would you say it has to work? to think about that all right well i'll give you my 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 tips then i think and tell me if you agree with this kathleen i think that they need the outfit it needs to be about the pattern tights or stockings yeah like it needs everything else everything needs else to, be to be understated yeah. it's kind of like your statement accessory mm -hmm. um and i think that there's a time and place i personally think that in a professional environment a small tiny little understated pattern is better than something loud i think that Striped stockings belong on anyone under the age of 20 or if, you know, a house fell on you in the Wizard of Oz. But other than that, there's really no reason to own them. I owned them when I was in high school, actually. I used to wear them with my Doc Martens. But, you know, that was a very long time ago. Um, but, yeah, I, I think patterns, if you're going to do a bold pattern in the rest of your outfit, needs to be simple. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely. Um, and then I love fishnets. How do you feel about fishnets? I love fishnets as well. Yeah. I think the smaller the net, the better, and I think you can sometimes do them for work. Um, I would stay away from wearing them in very conservative environments um, or have the net be really, really small, um, but I think they can be beautiful with like a dress. I, I, if I have to wear stockings, I always choose fishnets. What about you? Um, I don't have a preference. You don't have a preference, no, but you don't hate but them. But I agree with them being smaller. Yes. The bigger they tend to be, a little distracting. They look like <laughs> they look like you are a dolphin that was caught yeah. in a net. <laughs> what, like the, yeah. <laughs> I would stay away from really big. It just it's not flattering on the leg. Because what I like about small net is they actually start to look almost like they give your legs a nice tone and they yes. give your legs a nice like a silhouette. When the net gets too big, you lose that beautiful shadowing and then it just becomes this big ugly net. No, on, on, on your, on your legs and, and lace stockings. I'm personally not a fan. It's not really my thing, but I think some people, um, some people dig lace stockings. I don't know. Where, where do you stand on lace stockings? Never owned a pair. Not that interested. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that again, kind of like pattern stockings, if you do them, I think it has to be about the lace stockings and everything else has to be really, really understated. Um, there are two products that I actually want to recommend. Um, the first is if you are someone who doesn't want to wear pantyhose, but has like really white legs or legs that are uneven looking, this is a product I swear by. Um, I should have had it with me, but it's okay. I, it's called Sally Hansen's Airbrush Legs. It's a leg makeup that you use to put on your skin. It comes in all different shades for all different tones of skin. And it's per it's not permanent, but it's definitely water resistant. It won't come off until you shower um, and really have to scrub it off. It won't wear off onto your clothes. And it doesn't necessarily tan your legs. It evens the skin tone out. So your skin looks really flawless like you're wearing pantyhose, but you're really not. So this is what I sort of buy. Have you ever heard of that, Kathleen? Not until I saw you put it on. Yes, it's amazing. It's like putting on foundation on your legs in a really weird way, like in an, <laughs> as gross as that sounds, but it's like you're putting just like a bronzer on and it's okay. and it stays on. It doesn't wash off. You, you don't get it on you or anything, and I love it. So mm -hmm. I want to recommend that to women out there who've been struggling with, I hate wearing pantyhose, but I really don't want to show off my legs. I mean, I am like blue my legs are so white so if I can do it and it works then then certainly everyone else can do it and there's another product that I want to actually recommend um, I have uh, it pulled up on my iPad these are called boot tights so as we're getting into the uh, colder weather um, you might like wearing opaque tights with your boots but find that the shoe is too big or the boots too big when you put just tights on and sometimes you might put actual socks over your tights this will these will eliminate the need to um, I'll show you will eliminate the need to put on a, se a separate pair of socks they're actually have little socks built in to the tights it's so cool they have all different patterns they have all different colors and the website is 
bootights.com. It's one T B O O T I G H T S.com. So I highly recommend checking this out. We actually had it as a fab find on my blog. Um, uh, I think last year, and I also wrote a, a blog post about um, tights and, and stockings and pantyhose too if you want to check it out on my blog at BridgetRays.com. And uh, if you have a question for me that you'd like me to answer via video, you can also check me out, BridgetRays.com. On uh, Facebook, it's Facebook.com forward slash BridgetRaysStyleExpert. On Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, it's always at BridgetRays. As always, it's great catching up with you and with my intern, Kathleen, Woo! going into her second month of being here with us. <laughs> Hold in the camera, adding her two cents. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back with you next week with another stylish tip. Until then, have a really fantastic week.